This is a lovely, lovely question. Wonderfully challenging question. Let's look at this one. In how many ways can a pair of integers x comma a be chosen such that x square minus 2 mod x plus modulus of a minus 2 is equal to 0? Lovely question. Because this is this can be framed as an equation in mod x. And so the wonderful idea. And so the thing about this, so we have mod x square minus 2 mod x plus a positive number is equal to 0. The beauty here is x square mod x square minus 2 mod x plus 1 equal to 0 is a nice square of a quadratic expression. How do I say that? So mod x minus 1 whole square is x square minus 2 mod x plus 1. This can be equal to 0 when mod x is equal to 1 but it cannot this number cannot be more than 1. So straight away we know that this constant term if it were more than 1 we have no solution. It is positive if there are more than 1 we have no solution. We know we are talking about integers or modulus of a minus 2 modulus of a minus 2 can be 0 or it can be 1. Nothing else is possible. Right? So I'm going to look at both possibilities. Let's say that's equal to 0. So now we have mod x the whole square minus 2 mod x is equal to 0. Mod x into mod x minus 2 equal to 0 or x could be 0, x could be 2, x could be minus 2. For all of these possibilities, a equal to 2 works. So there are three possible solutions here. x and a, 0, 2, 2, 2, minus 2, 2. Three possibilities work. Now let's go to the other scenario where we say mod x minus 1 whole square is equal to 0. And so mod x minus 1 whole square is 0. This means mod x is 1. x could be 1 or minus 1. This is the scenario when modulus of a minus 2 is 1 or a is 3 or a is 1. a minus 2 is 1 or a minus 2 is minus 1. Both are possible. Now, it could be x is 1, a is 3, x is 1, a is 1 or x is minus 1, a is 3, x is minus 1, a is 1. Four possibilities exist. All four are possible. Here we have three possibilities. Here we have four totally seven. Wonderful question, delightful question from the idea of completion of squares. We start off with that and then isolate that the constant term can only be zero or one. Plug in the constant term to be zero, find all possible solutions. Con put the constant term to be one and find all possible solutions. Be rigorous. Remember you're dealing with modulus of x. Remember you're dealing with modulus of a minus two. Find wonderful questions with the delightful seven answers. Thank you.